Hello everyone, I am back with another video today. What I wanted to do is just kind of show you some of my favorite products um, so far. I guess you could consider this a March favorites video, being that this is the first one that I'm doing. I'm not sure if I'm going to do these every month, but just... Um, as I run across things that I really like, that I wanna share with you guys, um, I can do them. Um, so I kinda wanted to section this off by the um, products that I'm gonna be reviewing. So the first thing that I'm gonna be reviewing is actually kind of like face skin products, I guess. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is foundation. My absolute favorite foundation right now is this one right here. This is the MAC Matchmaster SPF 15 foundation. I use the 3.0 shade. This is the best foundation I've ever, ever used anywhere ever. And I've used a lot of different foundations. Um, it's hard for me with my complexion to find really good foundations. Um, for those of us that, you know, have kind of the lighter, um, yellowy kind of um, skin tones um, with foundation sometimes you either have one or two extremities you can either um, have foundations that make you look very like super tan and orange and then sometimes the foundations are too light um, this MAC foundation blends absolutely perfectly into my skin it makes my skin look glowy and supple it doesn't look dry it doesn't cake up here or in the nose area I mean it's just absolutely great um, I love this. Um, I've been using this foundation for years. I will repurchase it forever um, as long as they make it because it's just absolutely great. The next products that I have, and these are all things that I use just about every day um, on my skin. Also a MAC product. This is the MAC Bronzer and the Give Me Sun um, shade. The bronzer looks like this. This is probably two to three years old bronzer um, that I've never replaced. I use this every day and I've only used maybe about half of the product that's in here. So when you buy MAC products, a lot of people have this misconception that MAC is just like ridiculously high. I don't think that MAC products are expensive. As a matter of fact, I think they're very affordable, um, especially being that they last you forever. Um, I just love MAC products. I really do. So this bronzer is really good because it just gives you kind of a sun-kissed glow. It doesn't look like overbearing. It doesn't look like super, you know, tanny. It's just, it's great. So I really like that. Um, another product that I'm really liking is this Urban Decay D-Slick um, Translucent Powder. It looks like this and it's white, but um, it goes on your skin very clear. It's really good if you um, have oily skin, if your skin gets very shiny, um, you can just kind of, I have a I'll show you the brush that I use for it. Um, this Kabuki brush here. Just a regular Kabuki brush. I got this from Target. I use that and I just kind of swirl it in the powder and just apply it here, 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 you know, just wherever I'm oily. And it does a really great job. You can apply it as many times a day as you need to. For me, um, it works to where I only have to maybe apply like maybe once maybe twice if I work a long shift but usually like in the morning and then I maybe have to apply it around lunchtime and then when I get home my skin still looks good so um that's that the next product is this What's Up by Benefit. This is the sample size. I've had this sample for almost two years now. I don't use it every single day, but I use it pretty often. It looks like this and a little twist tube. This is really good to um, highlight like the inside corners of your eyes when you're doing your eyeshadow underneath your brow bone. It's just a really great highlighting product. Um, another product, speaking of benefit, that I like is the Rockateur. This is my favorite cheek color um, blush, if you want to call it that. It looks like this 
on the inside. It's a very um, soft, peachy type color. Um, it just really does great. Um, it doesn't do too much. I have it on now. As you can see, it just gives you a little hint of color, but it's not like overpowering. So I think that's really great. I have one eye palette that I wanted to talk about and this is my absolute favorite eye palette right now something that I use just about every day the Naked 2 by Urban Decay um, I really like this these are the colors in case you're not familiar um, you kind of have your darker colors on this side and then your lighter highlighting shades on that side I really love this palette. Um, of course, I mix it with other colors, depending on what kind of look I'm going for. But this is just a really great um, palette, just for every day. Because, I mean, you have, like, your brownish shades. Like, this is one shade um, that's just a very nice brown. Um, you have your kind of little bit darker shades. Um, this is the darkest shade called Busted. Um, so you just have very nice colors to play with. Um, so great for every day. Moving on to lips, lip glosses, and then I'll do lipsticks. Lip glosses, um, these CoverGirl Wet Slicks are like my absolute favorite. Um, they look like this. You can get them from just about any drugstore. Um, and these are my four favorite shades that I like to use. Um, my neutral shades and my pinky kind of shades. Um, the brown shades that have this one shade candy that is this shade here this kind of very light brown shade and then um i really like this shade wine shine that's what i'm currently wearing so as you can see it's just a very nice brown neutral color um this shade here is called patiently pink and it's just a very pink shade light and um, there's another shade called pink sequin which is I know I have a bunch of swatches but it's this one here and um, these are just very nice neutral colors um, they wear very well um, they don't last forever but you're not having to like reapply like every five seconds either um, you can find them at any drugstore. They're very affordable, um, anywhere from maybe 7 to $8 for one tube. One tube um, lasts me probably about a month to a month and a half. So I think that's a good, you know, good deal for $7 to $8 purchase. Um, the two lipsticks that I wanted to talk about today that I just love, love, love these colors. This one is by Revlon. This is the shade called Berry Hot. And it's twist up, typical lipstick that looks like that. And this is the shade that I swatched here. This is what it looks like. Um, I absolutely love this shade. Um, I think it's great. Um, I'm trying to get some more wearings out of it because it is more of like a fall color. Um, but it's just a really cute um, kind of berry plum purple color and I really like that it has um, kind of a cream gloss kind of consistency so it won't come off as glossy as like your CoverGirl wet slicks but um, for a lipstick you know it's not real trying so I like that. The other lipstick that I like is this NYX lipstick in the shade Spellbound. Looks like that and I swatched it here is that pink right there this is a very pink pink um you can definitely um mix it with like a gloss that's a lighter pink to kind of tone it down if you think it's a little much or um you can wear it as is i think it's just a very gorgeous pink um definitely great spring color Moving on to mascaras. Um, two mascaras that I'm really, really digging right now that I'm always um, reaching for. 
The first one is the Buxom Mascara in the Blackest Black. This is the sample size. And the brush looks like this. So it's a very curvy type brush, which I think is really great for really getting in your lashes, separating them, curling them, defining them. Um, you probably can't see it, but that's what I'm currently wearing today. So this is a really great one. I definitely plan on um, purchasing the bigger size once I use up all this sample because this is just a great mascara. The other mascara, and this is probably like my number one favorite, favorite, favorite mascara of all time. This is by Tarte, the Lights, Camera, Flashes um, mascara. It comes in, I mean, the packaging, gorgeous. I mean, this doesn't even look like any mascara I've ever seen. The packaging is just gorgeous. Open it up, and this is how, and if you notice, on this end, you have, like, bigger bristles, and then on this end, you have smaller ones. So the ones on this end are really good for separating your lashes, and then the ones on this end are more for, like, curling your lashes. This is just, like, a great, great mascara. Um, it lengthens my lashes. It just makes them look separated. It actually gives the look of falsies, and I'm not a falsies person. I like la natural lashes and this mascara just really does everything that I want it to do so this is great last but not least I have um kind of eye slash eyebrow products um the eyeliner that I'm currently wearing you can see that this is the MAC Studio Cream Eyeliner in black. Um, this is an excellent, excellent eyeshadow. Um, I'm sorry, eyeliner for anyone who wants to do the wing effect like I've done today. Um, it goes on so just smooth. I mean, it doesn't smudge. It doesn't go everywhere like some of the liquid ones do. do. Um, and it's just... It just does an excellent, excellent job. So whether you're new to doing eyeliners or you've been wearing eyeliner for a while, I mean, it just handles so well. This is what the inside looks like. I've used about half of this, um, but this is just an excellent, excellent product. As far as eyebrows, I'm definitely an eyebrow person. Um, if I don't do anything else on my face, um, you know, like today, this will be just a natural look for me. This is, you know, a look that I would wear to work. Um, this is just me. Um, as you can see, I'm not wearing any eyeshadow, but I feel like... Um, when you have, you know, kind of like your eyeliner and your brows done, um, maybe do a little bit of mascara foundation. I mean, that gives you a pretty natural look that you're just like five minute face out the door. Um, so brows are important to me. And I always like to start off by brows. And the thing I do is I use a good brow gel. This brow gel here is excellent um this is the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel and this is the little brush that comes with it which i think is great um it really gets in your um brow hair and it just pulls them together it keeps them looking neat and polished um it keeps your brows hair you know in place when you open it though i will tell you it doesn't appear that there's any product on here because it really just pulls just enough out of the container a lot of brow gels that i found tend to um pull like so much extra product and then when you put it on your brow you have like so much extra and you have to kind of like take q-tip and get it and let it dry this dries as soon as you put it on it just does everything that you need it to do so this is great and then um the next thing that i do with my brows is i use the anastasia brow wiz pencil that looks like this um the the dip pomade I've heard is also really good if you want like more of a defined look. I don't always want my brows to be so defined. I kind of just like them to look natural. Um, and this brow is, is really, really good for that. I love that this pencil is two-sided. You have your actual pencil on this side. 
the pencil itself is a twist up pencil so you don't have to worry about um, sharpening and it's very slender um, which is great for someone like me I have very thin eyebrows and when I go to do the tail of my eyebrow um, the pencil really gets in there and helps me, you know, get a very smooth line that doesn't look like drawn on like some of the pencils do. So this is really great. And then the other side, you actually have a spoolie brush. Um, so you don't have to try to reach for, you know, a separate tool. You have everything that you need in this one pencil, which I think is great. Last but not least, concealer for your eyebrows only. I don't recommend using this concealer on your face, um, but this is really good um, eyebrow concealer. This is, of course, MAC. This is the Studio Finish Concealer, and I'm using the NW20 shade. Open it up, and it looks like that. Um, it really goes on very smoothly. Um, does everything that I want it to do as far as concealer. Um, I've had this container for maybe two months. Barely used it. Like I said, MAC makes excellent products. Um, so I'm really liking this concealer. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I can't wait to read your comments and responses. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.